Tanya and Carol share $360 in the ratio of 5 to 7. How much does Carol receive? So the total parts is going to be 5 plus 7, which is 12 parts, and then one part is going to be 360 divided by 12, which is 30, and therefore Carol receives 7 times 30, which is 210. Part B. Tanya and Carol each spend $30. What is the new ratio from t Tanya's re uh, remaining money to Carol's remaining money? Giving your answer in the simplest form. So Carol received 210, then Tanya will receive 150. They now each spend $30. So the ratio will be, we need to put Tanya's first. So it's going to be Tanya's to Carol, so the, it will be 120. 150 minus 30, and Carol is going to be 180, which is 210 minus 30. This one you can divide by 60, which gives you 2, though you can also do the same for that side, which gives a ratio of 2 to 3. Carol invests $180 for 6 years at 3% per, uh, per year simple interest. Calculate the total amount Carol has after 6 years. Well, the simple interest formula is going to be I, the interest, is P, the original amount, R, T, divided by 100. R is the rate, T is the time in years. P is 180, R is 3%, and T is 6 years. So I is going to be 180, the original amount, times the rate, which is 3, times the time, which is 6, divided by 100. And if we want that on our calculator, we're going to get 32.40. But this is only the interest. We want the total amount. So the total amount will be the original amount, which is 180, plus the interest, which is 32.40, which is going to give me $212.40. Tanya invests £120 for four years at 3% per year compound interest. Calculate the total amount Tanya has after four years, giving your answer correct to the nearest cent. So the compound interest formula is the amount is in the original amount, the principal plus R plus 1 over 100 to the power of T. But the 1 plus R over 100 is the multiplier for an increase of 3%. So the multiplier for an increase of 3% is going to be 1.03. Therefore P, the original amount is 120. 1 plus R over 100 is the multiplier, which is 1.03, and T is 4 years. So, A will be 120 times the multiplier 1.03 to the power of 4. Go to our calculator, so that's going to give me 135.06110, which is 135.06 to the nearest cent. An investment of £500 for two years at 3% per year compound interest is the same as the investment of £500 for two years R percent at per year simple interest. Find the value of R. So compound interest A is going to be P plus times 1 plus R over 100 to the power of T. P is 500. 1 plus R is the multiplier for 3%, 1.03, and T is two years. So A will be 500 times 1.03 to the power of 2, which gives me $530.45, correct to the nearest cent. The interest gained, because that's what the comp uh, uh, why we're finding that is for the formula for simple interest, it gives me the interest gain, is going to be the total amount, 530.45 minus the original amount, which is $30.45. The simple interest, I is equal to PR, uh, T over 100. I'm going to rearrange that because I want to find the value of R. So multiplying by 100, I get 100I is equal to PRT. Divide by PT, I'm going to get that R is 100I over PT. Now P is equal to the little R that we need to find. So we're going to have R is going to be 100 times the interest, which is 30.45, divided by 500 times 2. It gives me R is equal to 3.045%, which gives an interest rate of 3.05% per annum to free saving fees for simple interest. 
Okay, so this has been a video about ratio and then using simple and compound interest. I hope you understood and I thank you very much for watching.